Okay, that's something you don't see every day. No, you don't. It's over, Wendell. You're cornered. Which muchacho is Wendell? Enough, look. I don't know what's going on here, and, and frankly, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Kyle, you shouldn't be here. No, no, let me finish. The thing is, I like Michaela, and maybe, maybe I am just a simple commoner, but all I want, all that I have ever wanted is for Michaela to go out on a date with me. Aww. Really? If you'd stay put long enough, I would have asked you out already. And I would have said yes. I just have to do one thing first. What? How did you know? It was the awe. Xander, I know, has a heart that you couldn't fake. No! You people don't understand. I'm supposed to be king. Ted has never done anything to deserve the crown. Which is something I plan on fixing right now. By ushering in an era of renewable technology for all citizens of Great Norland. Saving our country's resources and making everyone's lives healthier and more productive. Thank you, Kyle. Fortunately, Maywood Glen's tech supply room had all the tools we needed. This multimeter measured the electrical current, locating the shorted out transistor, then replaced it with a new one. Easy peasy. Look how much energy we've stored already. Enough to throw one off the hook party, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Smart is the new rule. <laughs> yes. Really, I can't thank you girls enough. The event was a huge success. Molecular spaghetti is served. What? <laughs> this day cannot get any better. <gasps> I like this friend so much better. So, does this count as our date? No. I want to take you someplace special. Meaning in a place where it's just the two of us. Maybe uh, for Valentine's Day? It's a date. Let's dance! Come on! What are you girls doing in my closet? Housekeeping. We always start in the closet. <laughs> and by the way, I'd like to compliment you on your choice of footwear. Excellent. You have one minute before I call security. OK, so uh, we're not housekeeping, but we're singers. And since you're such an influential woman in the music biz, we wanted to give you our demo. Well, I'm not thrilled with you sneaking into my room but I do admire your dedication. Give me your demo, I'll give it a listen. Oh, where is it? 
We'll go get it. Hold on. If there's one thing I can tell you about the music biz, sometimes you only get one shot. So let's hear what you got. Sing. Us? Now? Aqui? Oh, I'm only gonna ask once. Okay. <laughs> Ready, girls? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh... Let me tell you what I like about hotels. Hotels! <laughs> what do you like about hotels? Hotels! They got big comfy beds and oversized shrubs. And pristine gardens with really pretty shrubs. <laughs> and don't forget about the mini fridge. Oh, what? Come on. <laughs> okay. We're done here. Out. Oi. I'll call Cam and Bri and they'll meet us tonight. Michaela! Maddie? What was your sister doing here? I don't know. Suspect approaching at 10 o'clock. Question, are we talking about our location or that she's showing up an hour from now? Don't worry, chicas, I'll work with her. The police should be here any second. I called in an anonymous tip. Hashtag busted. Miss Elite Manager. Okay, so these t shirts aren't American made. That can't be a crime. T shirts? I do not need spell check to know that is so wrong. The only criminal here is the idiot who printed these shirts wrong. Well, this bust was a bust. Which is fun to say, but actually more disappointing. None of this makes any sense. Well, somebody's still in those three T's, and they're still out there. Well, sketch, super sketch. These kids think we lied about being spies. What are you typing? I'm responding to the haters on my feed. Take that, Arcfire 22. Boom! You've just been schooled. Wait, too much. No, I feel bad. JK, Arcfire 22, Winky Ghost, Happy Cat. <sighs> Having haters is hard. Oh no, you didn't, Beboop 16, frowny face, angry robot. <sighs> hey, Michaela. You look like an average high school student. And I mean that in a good way. Thanks. Oh, hey, Randy, how's your hamster Leonardo? He's buried in my backyard. Oh, hey, Taylor, congrats on giving up the nightlight. Do you know these kids? Oh, yeah, like the back of my hand. I sit up all night memorizing each student's face and personal background. Thought it'd help me blend in easier. You are wrong. Makes you feel kinda loca. <laughs> Michaela, relax. You'll be fine, Mia. In fact, you should run for class president! You know the rules. Girls are no spying at school. Which includes talking notebooks. Right. Fine, be that way. But I'm here if you need me. Look, I'm just not used to this whole being a regular civilian thing. I've never spent much time in any one place. Each assignment took us to a new town. Well, now you're one of us. Oh, hey, Shelly, good luck with the LASIK. Okay, now you're acting weird again. Wow, can't believe Tech Fair's here already. This year, it's mine. <laughs> What's doing, camouflage? <laughs> Justin, it's Cameron Coyle, for the millionth time. Signing up for the Tech Fair, I see. I'm surprised you're up for it after last year's embarrassing defeat. The only 
anything embarrassing was losing to a guy whose best friend is a mirror. Whoa, whoa, hold up there, Chamomile. Don't be such a sore loser. <laughs> Why don't you save yourself the pain of failing? I know how sensitive you can be. Sensitive. Justin, this year my girls and I have something epic in store. Oh, really? You and your little spy club? <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're building our own car. And it runs on water. Please. Not only that, it's top speed will kick your Hey, butt. how about we just keep the rest a surprise? The guy's such a jerk. Cam signed us up for the tech fair. Apparently, we're building a water-powered car. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad you chose something easy. Shouldn't be underestimated. We're not just bedazzled, we're bedazzling. Hey, girls, can you try and kick the ball back? You can do it. <laughs> Use all your big girl muscles. <laughs> I got this. I worked a case in Brazil. I played a lot of football. Bye bye. thwart a severe last minute threat. Wherever you are, we owe you our thanks. I can watch that launch a zillion times and never get bored. <laughs> Guys, Prince Andrew just posted a snap from space. S-I-T-N-C? That's easy. Smart is the new cool. Go you. Yes. <laughs> Pretty brilliant. Congratulations, Agent McAllister, on closing the case of Prince Xander. Thanks, but I didn't do it alone. I had help from my friends. OMG, what did you call them? Sorry, Addison, they are my friends. And not only that, you're all first-rate operatives, and I'm proud to say I've had the honor to work with each of you. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. Me neither. Well, believe it, Addison. Well, you know what they say. Any friends of yours are friends of yours that I can try to be nicer to. <laughs> Not sure that's an actual saying, but I appreciate the sentiment. I admit, you were right about this whole team thing. I had a hunch. So I know I'm scheduled to leave for my next assignment, but if you and Innovate approve, I'd like to stay here so we can keep working together. Affirmative. Innovate will allow Maywood Glenn to be your interim base of operations. <laughs> This is oh. how you do it, right? Ouch! <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> Maybe you loosen up the strangle. Yeah. <laughs> I-S-C-B-T-P-S-U-A-M-F-O-S! <laughs> yeah, I still can't believe the prince sent us a message from outer space either. <laughs> oh, come on. You guys have to teach me how you do those crazy long ones. As long as you keep teaching us secret agenting. Uh, so, when do you think we'll get our next assignment? Girls, I have an incoming message from the quail. That was quick! <laughs> So, what do you say? Are you in? <laughs> <laughs>